Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, I think... I, I'm, I've, I've been playing this a little bit too... Like... I don't know, I, I just need to start playing differently, I think. Because I've been trying to get everything I possibly can. And do everything I possibly can in this single area. And it's a bit slow doing that, but I, it, it's... I don't know, it's, it's a thing that you can do. But I don't think it's that hard that you're intended to play, because I'm easily getting overleveled, except for this area here right now, so... I don't know. But you're supposed to really just kind of... run around, go at full speed, and not go complete out of the way for items, but yeah. Ah, uh, but anyway, what is Spoink? I can't remember. Can I check the Spoink? Psychic, right. I don't know what's effective against Psychic, so I'm just going to use whatever is effective with the current Pokemon I have. But yeah. We could basically just go around the world a lot faster if I just ignored a lot of the stuff that I could be collecting. I mean, we can come back for any Pokemon that we don't have, so... That's not hard. Come on. Finish it off. Thank you. I should probably change my lead Pokemon. Maybe. Wants to learn Bubble Beam? Okay. Yeah, wants to forget Sweet Scent and learn Bubble Beam. Let's do that. Just seems like the right choice. I need to get some more bug moves, though, because that's what its terror type is, so... That would pretty, probably be more useful. Probably. Uh, anyway, let me... Head this way, I guess. See what we can do. I should also probably send out my Pokemon to go do some fights on its own. What is that thing? <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know what... I know it's a... <laughs> it's amazing is what it is. It's incredible. Cloth. Cool. Um... I don't think anything's effective against it, so I'm just going to use Bulb Beam. It's super effective. You didn't tell me that. Okay, that's probably because I haven't, I haven't caught it, so I don't know what what its type is. Well, in a minute or two, we'll find out. And actually catch it. Wow, that's super effective. Okay, so I'm guessing like. I don't know, I guess that would make sense. With whatever, uh, what, what was effective against it previously, so... Also, I do believe that we have a Pokémon that actually evolves by walking a lot. Which is poor me. So I might actually also go... Or just have it out so I can walk around. Although there is a way, apparently, to have that... Have it just basically walk on its own. At one of the Pokestops if you stand on top of it, so... And just have the Pormie on the ground. Skiploom wants to learn Leech Seed. That sounds like a good move to get. What is it recommended? Wants to get Sleep Powder. I can do that. It is nice being able to put things to sleep, but I'm just gonna take the recommendation for that. Because I think it makes sense. I agree with it. It's a rock type, yeah. So I think the water is effective against rock, but rock is also effective against... Bug. No, I don't want to add it to my party. Go away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not right now. You're amazing, but I can't keep you right now. Anyway. Let's keep moving. And I should also do the thing that I said I was going to do. Let's get out for me and send you out on your own. Hasty Mint. What? You just, you just had trouble with that? Okay. Uh, well, I might actually go to the city as well while I'm thinking about it, because there was another thing that I've realized, and that is that I'm an idiot, basically. Because I think those uh, weights or whatever they are to in improve the skill, like the stats of your Pokemon, I think those... I should have just bought one, basically, because I think having them... Well, it doesn't actually look like mean you get less of a stat. It just means you get more of a stat while you're slower, while you have it equipped. So I should probably go get that. Just need to figure out which shop it is. 
think it's like this one, right? No, probably not. Uh, maybe? General goods? Yeah. So these are actually better than I thought they were, I'm pretty sure. Because the, st the speed is lower while it's equipped. But it's stats will go better, gr grow faster. But, but what do I want? HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, or, sp or speed. Also, I don't have that much money for it, but I just need to point out that I was, I thought these were worse than they were, but they're actually incredible. So, anyway. Uh, let's go around the world. I still can't figure out the buttons for some reason. Even though I should know them by now. Still haven't gotten used to them. What is this? Path of Legends, right. Titan Battle. Well, we're gonna get there. But I can also explore some of the areas we've already been to as well. Because there is more, just in every direction. And I need to probably level up my Pokemon a little bit more before... ...pushing forward? I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I guess my strategy before was actually doing alright. I don't know. Ah, uh, did Pummy? Pummy's alright, right? Don't need to go to the center or anything. I don't think. Just gonna send you out again. A whole bunch. Just because you need the steps. Now, I don't know if I can make this jump. I don't think I can. But I want that. I really want it. I want to grab it. He, uh, it's not help. Nope. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to come back for that then. Unfortunately. Also, how much can I just have my Pokemon out with me? Because I, 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 I don't like how you forget too far away from it. It goes oh, back into its ball. I understand why that's a thing. But also, I just want my Pokemon out. I guess I could just walk around instead of riding around. But that's... That's, not, that's defeating the whole purpose of this. The whole purpose of this is to go fast. Let's grab these. Now, I don't know if these are just randomly spawning in or if they are actually placed here for collection. Because I feel like some of this... Like, I'm pretty sure it's all placed in for you to grab, but I'm, I'm probably just good at missing stuff. Hiking's real simple. I'll tell you all you need to know about hiking. Rule 1, work those legs. Rule 2, work those legs. Rule 3, defeat me in a battle. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Lucia. Luc Lucia? I don't know. I can't pronounce any of the names in the game. Uh, but anyway, we are definitely over level for this. So let's just Thundershock. Roly Coley fainted. You want to know the fourth, third and fourth rules? There are none. It's all legs, kiddo. No, I'm pretty sure beating your battle and getting 420 money was a, one of the rules. Now, let me see. I think I can actually make this jump, probably. I mean, out of all the jumps I couldn't make, I'm pretty sure this one is one I can make. Hey, yep, We made it. Area 4. Also, there are some Pokemon here that I have not... Seen before, and some that I have. Let's see what level you are, because I could be here at a really bad level. Oh, yeah, I am. Um, run. Couldn't get away. Okay, you sweet scent. I'm alright. This is the thing about exploring too far off track. Couldn't get away. This is a shame. Please let me run. Please. Please let me run. Got away safely. Quick, over the edge. Go over the edge. Down we go. It's, it's okay. So I guess I'm not exploring that way then. So there's an item up there, but I, I still don't think I can jump high enough to get up there. 
the moment. There's so many things I want to do. And not any way to really do that. Also, those Pokemon up there are actual Pokemon, right? That I can actually fight, right? Maybe? If I can get around. Here! And here. No? Okay, these are just chilling. Well, that's okay then. Now, I think one area that I can actually explore more of in the first area is actually over this way. Because I started going this way before and then I stopped. Because I wanted to get back on track. But I think going this way is something I can just do. A bit more. Also, it's weird not to see any Pokemon fighting in this game. Because you'd expect with this many Pokemon around that you'd see them fighting. Nope, hello. Didn't see you there. That's okay. Get zapped. Also, I need to check the settings quickly because I want to see if I can make things slightly faster. Possibly. I've been trying to check, check this. I'm going to set that to fast. Hopefully that doesn't affect the m messages that go away. Skip move learning. Why do I do that? Manual settings of boxes, probably. Just because that means I have the option. Nicknames? I'm going to set that off. Auto save. Camera controls. Show nicknames. Don't want to skip cutscenes. Music's fine. Pokemon cries. Definitely want that. Yeah, I think all this is good for the moment. I could adjust the settings to boxes, but I think I'm good with this, so. Save these settings. I can't make it any faster for cutscenes. Oh no, the... Battles, that's the one. I can't skip the animations for moves like I can in older games. And just have text. That's all fine. So, now I saw an item, didn't I? Or am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Just need to avoid getting into unnecessary battles. Maybe check out some of these terror raid battles. Protect. Okay. Now, what is this? This is a grass type, I assume. So, I should probably just get out my starter for this. And see what this is. It's only a one-star raid battle, so you need to keep that in mind whenever you're doing terror raid battles and catching Pokemon, because you actually need to know how many stars the Pokemon have. I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Cancel. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm just trying to challenge alone. It's not at the top of the list. Mashing buttons. It's fine. Also, I think you only, you only need to check the, the crystal to get some LP points. Some league points. So, you don't actually have to fight the Pokemon. But I enjoy the, the fighting them, so. It feels more interesting than fighting a wild Pokemon, so. Tynamo. Interesting. It's just wiggling. Ah, uh, let's use Ember. I feel like since you know what the raid type is, you should just have the game tell you what's effective. But it's fine. <laughs> also the fish in the back, like, this is the background. The, the reflections are far too amusing to me. I don't know why. Anyway, that's that one defeated. I think I'll just catch it because it's a Pokemon I don't have yet. That's probably just going to be how it is, un unless it's a high star Pokemon, then I'll try and catch it. Just for the extra Terra type as well. But, but only if it's a, more stars, so... Probably. Just make up all the rules as I go along. <laughs> or just reinvent them as I go further. Very nice. Tynamo was caught. There we go. Electric type. Interesting. I would have not have guessed that. Tanamo has been registered. Now, I wonder how my Pokedex is going. 
because we can actually check the thing here. And get a Thunderstone, because we have 30 volumes. That's 30 Pokemon, that's pretty good. And 40 Pokemon, which means we get some Ultra Balls, which are just better... Great Balls, which are better Pokeballs, so that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, and just off of 50. So we'll probably get that soonish. Ah, uh, but anyway, let me switch Pokemon again, because I want to get poor me going some f some distance. Probably just throw Pommy out right now, right? Can Pommy keep up with me like this? Not really. Why can't they keep up with you when you're just wandering around? I don't know. Why? Why? Like, I can understand them not being able to keep up with you while you're on Coridon, or whatever your legendary Pokemon is. But when you're just walking around like this, I, I, I feel like you should just have them be able to keep up with you. I did not mean to throw it like that. I was trying to... Okay. Can I just run? Yes. Thank you. That way I can just have it do it automatically. At some level, I feel like you should be able to just send out your Pokemon to do it automatically instead of having to do the rest of the fight. Just have a button for that to switch between doing the actual fight yourself or the Pokemon doing it for you. There's another terror, terror Raid battle here. And another TM. What is it? Rock Blast. Let's see what this is. I think I already have that. So I could just leave that, probably. Getting all the things. Getting some League points. I mean, I don't really wa want to skip the Tower Raid battles, but I think I probably should be, just for the sake of time. Also, fl Flamigo. It's... An amigo flamingo, and just not—it's not a flamingo. It's a—it's a—it's a flamingo. If it was wearing a hat, I'd be happier. Ah, uh, now how do I not just absolutely destroy this, and somehow still do this right? Uh, I don't think I have anything to poison it, or maybe I do, but I don't think it's going to work. I think toxic spikes is just for when they're changing Pokemon. And that's for trainer battles, so... I could try Leech Seed. Although I'm still concerned that's going to be too powerful. Possibly. Let me check what it actually says in this, the moves. I'm glad I can also check the moves quickly on the switching screen. Uh, it is 90% accuracy with zero power, I guess, so... Which is good, probably. Because the power comes in the energy that it steals over time. Use Peck, which is a flying type move. And that's effective against Grass, I believe. Drain some of its health. But how much health does it have? I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I really wish I had a Quick Ball. I have a Nest Ball. The lower level against Pokemon. Okay, let me let me try Nest Ball because that should be good. Since it's lower leveled. There we go. I probably don't even need to be that concerned about not catching lower level Pokemon, but still. I prefer not to have to lose money. Flying fighting. That's an interesting combination because I would have not not guessed that. Sent to the boxes. But yeah, I can't remember what I was saying 30 seconds ago. It's fine. There's also some stuff over there, but we can't get to that. Just gonna send that poor me and see what he does. Also, the lag is real. <laughs> the lag is re the real lag. Real lagging. I like the rain, but this is ridiculous. Let's see what this is. It's so one star, and I don't think I have that Pokemon yet. It's a good one, so... Or maybe I do, actually. I think I might. I wish it was easier to check things. It's fine. Loading. Because I'm pretty sure I might actually have that Pokemon already. Because it's a rock type, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there we go. Bonsly. I've already got that, so... I'm just going to leave that for the moment. 
keep exploring other places. There seems to be a lot less items here for some reason. That might be because I'm looking at the wrong in the wrong places, but I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is a cool ruins. I like I like I like this kind of idea of finding these ruins. Oh, so that's a gimme ghoul there. So let me, let me take that coin from you. Five coins. That's good. An item. Awakening. I haven't used any of those yet, so that's good so far. I don't think I can... F oh, I can actually clarify that, can't I? I can catch this if I throw from just the edge of the pool of water. And if I can actually aim, da aim down. It's not homing in on it, which is it normally does. Please? You're right there. Come on. Come on. This is upsetting. Guess I'll just leave that then. For later. Pommy's a bit low, but that's okay. Let me see if I can jump across here. Yeah! Okay. Yep! Okay, this seems very weird. Like, it seems floaty, but also stiff. Repeat ball. I think it's me easier to catch Pokemon that you've already caught before with that ball. Okay, I'll take that. X attack. Also, I probably don't need to go all this way out. I don't think I can make it back easily enough. Scream it back out of the water. Also, it feels like the legendary should have a double jump. Or something. Please. Because I feel like the, 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 the way it animates, it feels like it's supposed to have a double jump. Or something. But anyway, let's grab this. Please grab. Super potion. It's good to have, especially if I want to heal my Pokemon. Also, there's a cool thing in the background there. Please, please fight the Pokemon. Thank you. So I don't know why this keeps zooming in. Need to tap the right stick down to zoom out again. But there's this cool thing here, which I know because I was watching Squidville, Squidville Live. Shout out. Go watch them, please. But yeah, this, this is a cool thing as far as I know. And we need to go get those stakes that are in the ground to actually open that at some point. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that for a while, so... I want to open it, but I, I want to wait until later for that dire hit. I didn't see what the effect was, but it's fine. Please grab. Psybeam. Very nice. Also, I don't think I can go any further up this way. I think I've, I've reached the ed edge of this exploration. Acid spray. I can go up this way, at least. Collect a few more items. But I've definitely explored a lot faster in this area than I have in other areas. Which is good. Just jump up, please. Up, up, up. Also, you can kind of hold onto the ledge a bit. I didn't realize that. Netball. Now, can I get up this way? Is the question. Not really. Okay. Let's grab a few of these other items that are just around here then. Also, let's see if I can get to that one. Somehow. Nope. Grab. Nope. Also, these are ghastly. <laughs> not, not like, not like they're horrible to look at, but they're, they're actually, they're, it, it's called a ghastly. <laughs> That's what that Pokemon is called. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, uh, they're ghost type. I don't remember what's effective against ghost type, other than maybe bug? I mean, they're only level 5, so I can probably just throw any ball that I want at them. Probably? I don't know. Nope, I almost had it. Confuse Ray. It's gonna confuse poor me. But I think I'm okay with this. Go Pokeball again. What I really need are some more of the nest balls. Or some quick balls, because quick balls, if you the earlier on the fight you throw them, 
the higher chance of catching they are. So you can basically turn one catch Pokemon, which is nice. Ghost Poison, interesting. Add that to my Pokedex. And let's um, also try and catch one of these Hypno. Please. Hypno. Hypno's trying to hypnotize me. Quick, get him. Before it's too late. That's an interesting sound you make. Um, I don't have. I'm you're level five again. I need to be careful. Ah, uh, what's this? Bug water. I don't think I have anything other bowls that are good against specific types at the moment. There are some, but I don't have any of them. It appeared to be caught. Tried to use disable, but I didn't use any moves, so it failed. I didn't mean to do that. I was mashing buttons, and I would have. It's fine. It's perfect. I'm very used to mashing buttons on a older gen when it would do the last thing that you did. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Because that just makes it a lot faster to go back into throwing a ball than just pressing the buttons for it, even though I probably just do it. I think if I just keep mashing the X button, actually, I might actually be able to do it like that. Possibly. But I don't know, sir. Psychotype. Send it to the boxes. So I'm probably going to send out my Pokemon and see if that's going to actually do some stuff. Maybe. And there's also a Gimmigul here, so let's grab that coin. Give me the coins. All five of them. And we get Confuse Ray. Let me actually check how many uh, Gimmigul coins I have, because I have quite a few. And I don't know where that would be held. Possibly here. Which is unfortunate, because I feel like there's, there's a better place for Gimmigul coins. Oh, where? Where, where? Can I sort these? Sort by name. There we go. 78. And we need 999. So that's that's doing alright, considering we haven't found that many of them so far. So I'm okay with this. Was so that another one right there? I think it is. That's like three in this one area. So I guess if we find any ruins, we should probably just keep an eye out for any more of them. There's another one. What is this? I didn't realize there could be so many in one place. <laughs> Imagine if Koroks were like this. They just all in a, in a row in the same sp same spot. Any more down here? Would have expected to find more on top of the pillars or something. But I think that's all of them here. I can't get that item, unfortunately. So I'm just going to move on. I'm going to check all the windows because that, that seems like a place I would put a thing if I could. Ah, uh, but anyway... I think that's everything down here. And have I fought you? I don't think I have. That door is so weird. I agree. I can't stop- I can't stop wondering what's behind that weird door. Or lid. Or cover. Or whatever it is. Maybe a little- maybe a battle will take my mind off of it. You're about to get destroyed, Axel the student. So I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. That Pokemon behind you is worried for you. Anyway. Squawkabilly. That reminds me, I think there's a Pokemon at a, ho a house at the beginning of the game. Like, just on top of it. Nice. Just what could be behind that? Whoa, wait, I lost? Yes, you did. I think I'm probably done exploring here. I don't think I can go up any of these cliff faces. <laughs> uh, but I might check that mound, like that small hill over this way. Because it goes up, and I feel like if there's going to be an item around here, it's going to be around this area, because I don't think I've explored that much of this particular spot. I really don't know what the, the render distance of this area is. I keep, I, I keep feeling like I need to go way up close to find out what something is. Can I please send out my Pokemon? Did I? I did, but what is it doing? Come on, go get get the Pokemon. Also, I think that's another Gimme Ghoul. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's another one. How are there this many Gimme Ghoul? Also, I can get a, a slightly close look at it. That's cool. Give me your coin. 
Anyway, uh, let's, uh, teleport, I think. So that's this area done. We could have actually done this earlier, probably, and have just been fine. But I feel like it made sense to leave it for a bit. I think it made sense to just keep up with what was happening in the story. Uh, so I think I might be wrong. But I might be right about there being more Pokemon here. But it might be a later thing. Quite possibly. And I don't think I could even get up if I wanted to. Which, speaking of going up onto things... Uh, yeah, they put... They put items on top of buildings. Uh, I'm also st stuck. It's fine. It tele teleported me down. Uh, cool. <laughs> Good. Great. Uh, can I jump, please? Nope. Not high enough. But I think there are Pokemon up there eventually, so... I think we can also go up this way, possibly. Maybe. Unless I'm bad. No, I'm bad. Okay. But we can explore a little bit of this area a bit more than last time. We should get us some more items, possibly. Possibly like this one over here. Please grab. Great ball. And there's stuff down there. Wingull! I'm gonna grab those. One of those. I don't know. Substitute. Uh, but let's go ahead and battle. See what level these are. Also, I think I'm stuck down here. Until I teleport, at least. It's only level four. And if I use electric type move, it will be super effective. If I use a dig- if I use a ground type move, it's not gonna- It's not gonna. <laughs> That's just the end of that sentence. Also, no, I can't just mash X. Which is weird, because you can cancel that by pressing B, so... If there was one thing I could change in the game, it's that if I could just mash X to throw a Pokeball. I just want to mash. Water flying. Like I, I, like I said, I, 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 I remembered something. Once more, I remember Pokemon. Ah, uh, but anyway, I think that is everything we can do down here without just warping away. What's with the light on the water, water over there? I don't know, but I'm also going to check my Pokedex very quickly. To see if we have any more rewards. We do. We have 50 caught Pokemon. Get some XP candy. But there we go. But anyway, that's probably it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.